Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking LEGO Dimensions Year 2 and the top 5 things you need to know about. The top 5 include 16 new licenses in Adventure Worlds, Battle Arenas, Story Packs, more Lord Vortech, and new packs and pre-order details. The biggest news to come out of all these announcements are all the new licenses that are coming to the game. These include Adventure Time, Teen Titans Go, The Lego Batman Movie, Lego City Undercover, Powerpuff Girls, Ghostbusters, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, Mission Impossible, Sonic the Hedgehog, Harry Potter, The A-Team, Beetlejuice, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Goonies, Gremlins, and Knight Rider. These additional 16 licenses brings up the overall total to 30, which is a really exciting number because it means that there's so many characters and so many different worlds to explore. While many of these made sense, like Harry Potter, some of these were a huge surprise to me, like Sonic the Hedgehog, and LEGO definitely has doubled down again on their love of series from the 80s. I know the creators of this game are going to have a lot of fun mashing up all these series, and I can't wait to get minifigures for some series that I never thought would get made. And the best part is, is that all 16 of these licenses will each open up an all new adventure world. And as you guys may recall, the adventure worlds from the first wave of the game have so much extra content. You could spend hours in there exploring every corner and still have more to do. On top of the adventure worlds, any character with a new gold base will open up an all new mode called Battle Arena. Battle Arena is a really exciting mode up to four players will be able to play local competitive multiplayer in a total of four different gameplay modes, including competitive modes like Capture the Flag. LEGO Dimensions has always been a game that's packed in a lot of value, and I'm really excited to see the way that they're going to take this game and spread it even further to bring local multiplayer with up to four players versus the co-op multiplayer with two players that we've been used to. Here's also a quick shot from the Harry Potter Adventure World, which shows off the scene with one of the battle modes. Also new to this year of LEGO Dimensions will be an all new type of pack called Story Packs. The first Story Pack that will be available will be for the all new 2016 Ghostbusters movie. Here we can see some images of this and it looks really interesting. Each Story Pack will include one vehicle, one minifigure, and a build to put on the existing portal that you have. With this new addition, the toy pad will be all decked out like the Chinese restaurant headquarters that the Ghostbusters have in the all new movie. The great part about these story packs is unlike a level pack where you get to play through one level, these story packs are going to be six levels long and feature all sorts of side quests to really help fill out the story pack and make it really worth that $49.99 price tag. This pack also unlocks RIP, which is an all new toy pad mode, which allows players to tear open an alternate universe. In the trailer, we also got a great shot of our three heroes running towards the Chinese restaurant and jumping through the rift at the center of the doors. And this one looks just like the one that we're gonna get in the story pack. In addition to the Ghostbusters story pack, we'll also be getting one from the all new movie, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is actually going to be the exclusive building set for the movie, so I wouldn't keep my eyes out for any Fantastic Beast sets coming soon. The great thing about all these additional story packs is it means that we're going to get a continuation of the LEGO Dimensions story from Year 1, with more Lord Vortech. I love that with Year 2 they're not forgetting about any of the classic characters that we got to know, as the story packs will also expand the starter pack story. In this year, the evil Lord Vortech has hidden portions of his power around the LEGO multiverse, and as you go through the different levels of the story pack, you can unearth and tap into the keystone runes to use Lord Vortech's powers against him through all new toy pad modes. While there will be many more packs to come, we have some pre-order details about 6 of them so far. First up, we have the story pack from the new Ghostbusters movie. Included with this pack, we have Abby Yates and the new Ecto-1. The first team pack we'll get is from Harry Potter. This pack includes Harry Potter and the Enchanted Car and Lord Voldemort and the Hogwarts Express. The next team pack we have is from Adventure Time. Included in this pack, we have Jake the Dog and Bimo and Lumpy Space Princess and the Lumpy Car. Our first level pack is also from Adventure Time. Included in this pack, we have Finn the Human, the Jake Mobile, and Ancient War Elephant. The next level pack is from Mission Impossible. Included in this pack, we have Ethan Hunt, the IMF Scrambler, and the IMF Sports Car. Finally, we have one fun pack from the A-Team. Included in this set is BA Barracus and BA's Van. All of these packs are available for pre-order now and will be available September 27th. 
While we don't have pictures of all the packs, a promotional image for the game also reveals some images of some additional figures and vehicles that we didn't get to see. At the very top left, we can see a vehicle from LEGO City Undercover, and just two windows down, we can see the minifigure for Raven from Teen Titans Go. In the middle of the bottom row, we can also see Lord Vortech. Do you think he's coming as a pack? On the other side in the top right corner, we can see one of the evil versions of the Gremlins. In the second row on the left, we can see the pirate ship from the Goonies. And in the lowest row on the left, we can see a biplane, perhaps Tails' biplane from Sonic. It's going to be so exciting as all these packs come out and help reinvigorate our love for LEGO Dimensions. With year two, they're clearly trying to surprise us and delight us at every turn, and there's still a lot of details that we haven't seen, like how will Beetlejuice, the Powerpuff Girls, and Knight Rider look in LEGO form. This fall definitely can't come soon enough, and I can't wait to see what they're going to announce at E3. I definitely think they still have a couple more surprises up their sleeve. So those are the top five things you need to know for the new year two of LEGO Dimensions. And I have to get your thoughts, guys. What are you most looking forward to? And what surprised you the most about all the announcements? And if you guys know me, you know I love LEGO Dimensions, so stay tuned. I've already got the first six packs pre-ordered, and I can't wait till September to review them for you guys. If you guys like this video and you want to see more, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, don't forget to check out my E3 trailer breakdown, where I break down all the moments you saw and some that you might have missed.